Hey everybody, how's it going out there? Oh, well, it's uh, Monday morning about uh, 5 a.m. Uh, just up here, uh, you know, it's actually kind of nice. It's uh, it's pretty cool. A uh, little, little break from uh, this heat and humidity, uh, definitely a welcome thing. I uh, just, I'm uh, back to my uh, night shift this week, so... Uh, you know, usually how I work it is, um, you know, I basically I lay down for a couple of hours Sunday night, get up early, real early Monday morning, and uh, you know have a little bit of time to myself, and everybody gets up, and yeah, I usually go to bed about you know noon, whatever, and uh, get along with my uh, my work week. But um, this is just a little uh, little bench talk video here. Um, I didn't get. Anything done last week uh, as far as modeling goes? Um, just it was, you know, the humidity was way too too high. It was too hot, and you know, end up had a couple of things come up, and uh, just couldn't get anything done. Uh, but this week, um, the job that I'm covering, you know, I'll I'll have some time. I'll be getting home, you know, four o'clock in the morning, and um, I'll just end up stay up till probably nine or ten, and. Uh, then I'll go to bed, but uh, I'll definitely have some time this week to get a lot of stuff done. So uh, next week's uh, update should be uh, be pretty good, I hope. Uh, but I just wanted to uh, touch on a little uh, video that I saw. Um, I want to say about a week ago, uh, and I apologize if I if I butcher your last name. Uh, Tim Halsey did on um, some uh, paint and products that he uses. Um. And uh, he, he's absolutely right. You know, he, he uses uh, a lot of the uh, Duplicolor uh, products and the cost effectiveness of it compared to, you know, using the testers or uh, Model Master paints. And um, you definitely get more bang for your buck, you know, by using a Duplicolor. Uh, you're going to pay a little bit more up front, but in the end, you're, you're going to be, you're going to be ahead. And if you also, if you watch out, um, I picked up this Duplicolor 8-ounce can. I got this from Ollie's. 99 cents. Uh, they had a couple of them there, a couple different colors. You know, 99 cents, I mean, that's it's pretty hard to beat. And uh, actually, I saw these there uh, courtesy of Tim um, a while back. He did a video Um about all he's having, you know, this duplicate color paint for, you know, 99 cents a can. So, uh, went there and sure enough, they did. Now, they didn't have a whole lot of colors. They had like maybe three or four colors, but, you know, for 99 cents a can for that duplicate color, I mean, how can you go wrong? And, uh, I also, I use the duplicate color, uh, primer. Um, I picked these up in advance. They were, uh, on sale. They were two for, uh, $10. You know, twelve ounce can. You know, so I grabbed uh, four of them. You know, for twenty bucks. You know, I got four cans of primer, and you can prime. Uh, one time, I, I paid attention. I opened a new can um, when I went ahead and I started a model. I was able to prime five models out of one can, and that's painting. Or I'm sorry, that's priming. You know, all the parts trees and everything. Um, got five, five models out of one can. So that's, it's pretty, pretty cost effective. You know, I'm not knocking, you know, the testers, model masters, you know, I really like that stuff. I, I, I do use it, but you know, five seventy nine a can, I mean, it's, you know, pretty expensive. You know, you might be able to do, uh, two bodies out of one of these cans. Um, if you're, if you're careful, uh, but we all know, I mean, you know, the, the cost of things is, uh, is getting out of hand, you know, the, the especially the kits. And that's another thing that I want to um, touch on was uh, was the price of kits. Um, Saturday Saturday evening, um, we went to the Hobby Lobby. Uh, my wife's got a couple of uh, couple projects going on, um, and she needed a few things. And she said, hey, let's go to Hobby Lobby. So, you know, you don't have to tell me twice, you know, I'm... I'm in the car. I'm ready to go. <laughs> uh, but she she wanted to go there. So I said, all right. So I wanted to, you know, take a couple of the 40% off coupons. But for whatever reason, our printer 
wasn't working and I could only get one coupon. Okay, fine. So the first thing, you know, me and uh, my son, we do, we head back to the to the models. And, you know, they're, they're getting all their new kits in. So they got a big clearance section right out in front of uh, the aisle where all the models are. And actually they had two, uh, two racks of all like the hobby related stuff. And there was a couple of, you know, uh, model master paints, but they were off the wall colored stuff that I had no need for. And uh, a couple things of, uh, different model master paint. Um, uh, again, nothing I was really interested in, but they did have a couple of kits there that I, that I did grab. Uh, my son spotted this one. He, he wanted it. Uh, the Porsche Boxster uh, Snap Kit, you know, $10.19. Uh, 58, 58 Corvette Roadster uh, by Ravel, uh, $14.99. And then, again, I got myself a Porsche. Porsche 911 Turbo. Uh, it was $16.19. So there was a, a kid there, uh, probably I'm, I'm going to say maybe 12, 12 to maybe 15 years old, somewhere in that range. Um, he was looking, you know, at all the models and stuff. He had himself a little basket, and you know, he had a he had a couple items in there, you know, some some paint, and you know, he was looking at uh, some paint brushes and stuff, and he was looking at some kits and. Um, we got up to the checkout. Uh, this kid was in front of us, and uh, we can only use at our Hobby Lobby the forty percent off coupon on an item that is not on sale or discounted. And my wife had one thing uh, that wasn't that she was going to use a coupon for. But anyhow, this kid was, you know, he was in front of us, and uh, he unloaded his basket. You know, he had a can of uh, Tester's One Coat. He had a can of the uh, Tester's Clear, a couple bottles of Model Master, and the Tester's Paints. Um, paint brushes, glue, and uh, he settled on the uh, on the new uh, Nicky Camaro kit. Twenty nine ninety nine for that kit. I was just... I was shocked by that, you know, that, the 30 Ford, the 57 Ford Gasser, uh, they had the 83 Cutlet, or uh, Hearst Olds, uh, those kits are $29.99 there, that's that's a lot of money, uh, but anyhow, this kid, you know, every, they, when they rung everything up, you know, his total was um, like $67 and change, and the kid had like a real horrified, scared look on his face, and he turned to his mom, and he says, Mom, he says, I don't have enough money. Can you spot me a few bucks? And she says, I told you, I don't have any money. You know, you're going to have to put something back, you know. Put your paint back or something. And he says, well, Ma, I, I can't, you know, I, I can't build my model. You know, I need all this stuff. She says, well, you know, use your birthday money. He says, you know, this is all I got. You know, it's had, had 60 bucks. And, you know, I said, I said to my wife, I said, give me that coupon, and I, I says, here, I says, go ahead and use this, and the kid, you know, he looked, and I says, you know, it's a coupon, it's 40% off coupon, I said, you know, it'll help you out, you know, that way you don't have to put anything back, you can get all your stuff, you know, and you'll probably save yourself, you know, 12, 14 bucks or whatever on your uh, model kit, and I think it ended up knocked everything down like $13, but... You know, fifty, fifty-four, fifty-five dollars, whatever you know, this kid had, and um, in, in everything, you know, his model and his paints and all that, and I mean, that just, yeah, I was just kind of shocked by that. You know, that's that's a lot of money, and uh, that takes me back to when I was a kid. Um, you know, twelve, twelve years old, somewhere around there, uh, in the town that I lived in. We had a little store. Uh, it was called McCory's, and now that I think about it, it was like what uh, Dollar General is now. Uh, they had a little bit of everything crammed in a little little store, uh, but this this place, you know, they had uh, model kits and, uh, and baseball cards too. They had a lot of baseball cards. Um, that was another thing that I was uh, into 
uh, back in the day was uh, baseball cards. But, you know, I, I had a paper route then and, you know, got a little allowance. And, you know, once a week, you know, my uh, my parents would let me go over there. You know, I was just, you know, right. I mean, it was like three blocks from our house. So they'd let me uh, go over there. And, you know, I'd, you know, they, they'd try to limit me, you know, as to what I took over there, how much money, you know, I'd, they generally let me get away with, you know, 10, 12, maybe $15. And I'd go in there, I could get a model kit, you know, a couple, you know, maybe a couple little uh, bottles of uh, testers paint, uh, baseball cards, and, you know, I'd come out of the bag of stuff and still have, you know, a couple dollars in my pocket. And uh, I'd go up to the record and a uh, little candy store there and get a bag of penny candy, and, yeah, and I'd be good. You know, model kits were four ninety nine, five ninety nine a piece. Uh, the model paint was, you know, forty nine or fifty nine cents. I think uh, the tube of glue was like sixty nine or maybe seventy nine cents. You know, I mean, that's you know, I know that was you know close to thirty years ago, but man, I mean the uh, the the price of everything and you know these these you know young young people and you know on a budget and everything is just man it, it was I was a little little floored by that you know almost sixty dollars you know for for the model and paints uh, for everything but you know I guess uh, you know I guess that's you know there's not a whole lot you can do about it you know these companies that's what they that's what they want for uh, for their models and you know, if people want them bad enough, they're definitely going to pay it. So, um, but anyhow, um, that's my little uh, bench talk and, you know, I guess a little rant. Uh, but uh, anyhow, um, you know, throughout the week, I'll definitely have some time to be working on some stuff and uh, stay tuned uh, maybe throughout the week and uh, definitely this weekend. There will be some uh, final videos on a few things that I'm working on. And uh, until then, everybody have a good week, and I'll talk to you later.